The perfume note of cherry is one that intrigues me so much and there are now so many perfumes with this specific note. Some of them I adore and I love and some of them I do not like at all. So today I'm going to show you the ones that I absolutely adore and would recommend to you. Generally speaking, my experience was that cherry perfumes tend to not be beast mode perfumes. Actually, a lot of perfumes have quite a weak performance, but I did find some that have great performance. So let's jump in. So the first one that really got me into cherries and perfume was this one right here, which is Rouge Smoking by BDK. I have this travel size and at first I thought, ah, oh, this travel size is enough. I think this is such a specific perfume. I'm not going to wear it this much. But then this past winter I wore it a lot and I had to say no to myself so that I didn't run through this perfume. This is so addictive. If you watch my other videos, you know that I love Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Blush, which is a creamy, peachy perfume with peonies and ylang ylang. I adore this perfume, I'm addicted to it. And that one is like a spring summer perfume for me. And this one is in the same family, but more towards the fall and winter time. So they match perfectly because this is so creamy and sweet and fruity, just like the other one but then there is this cherry note, which is almost kind of sour. And there's also some bergamot in here. It's absolutely addictive and my husband loves this one. I thought he's going to hate all of my cherry perfumes because some of them are a little bit more on the synthetic side, but this one for sure he adores. He wanted me to wear it all day, every day. So I think I have to get the bigger bottle. It's definitely a vanilla perfume, just like the Carolina Herrera one. And there's this intoxicating tonka mixed in with the cherry and the bergamot and heliotrope is also a big player in the perfume. It's so addictive, not juvenile at all. It's actually quite sexy and playful at the same time. So you could wear it every day or as a date night scent. The next one on my list is called Bodacious by Boadicea the Victorious. And this one, a lot of people say, is the best cherry perfume out there. And I will tell you, a lot of those perfumes on this list will smell very similar with just nuances that make them different from each other or they have a different performance. This one right here is one of the strongest performers on this list. It is definitely sweet and gourmand as well. Spicy and fruity and more woody. And in the beginning and in the mid, it ta tastes. <laughs> Smells like a pastry with cherries in it. So it has this doughiness about it and absolute addictiveness. And then it gets more creamy and fluffy and more fresh. You definitely have the cherry throughout the wear time, but it gets more smooth. You have some flowers in here as well. So you have this floral aspect just in the background with some jasmine and the rose is quite prominent as well. And what I find interesting is that there is a tobacco note in here, which reminds me of like a light white tobacco from other perfumes I have in my collection and I love that note. Definitely unisex and a strong performer, as I said. The next one is definitely not my favorite, but I want to tell you that if you like Lost Cherry by Tom Ford, I think this is quite a good alternative. It is from Zara and it is called Cherry Smoothie. This year they have it in another packaging, but I think it's one of their staples now because a lot of people seem to love it. This one is a more powdery fragrance than the other ones. And one thing, because I was talking about Tom Ford, 
I'm not going to show you Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. I don't know what it is, but most of the Tom Ford fragrances are just not working on my skin. Something is missing and with Lost Cherry, it was just a little bit too much, too sweet and powdery on my skin. And also the performance was not the best. And this one actually, I tested them side by side, had a better performance than the Tom Ford one, which is crazy. So this one is fruity and sweet, gourmand definitely, and it's quite creamy. And then you have this strong powderiness. So we have cherries in here and plum and almond and the cherry and the almond are the main players together with this powdery heliotrope. And then it is quite sweet and creamy with the vanilla and the tonka bean, but just to make it more smooth. It's not a super sweet and creamy perfume, much more powdery fresh than the other ones, which is why I don't tend to wear it. I wear the other ones more than I wear this one. This one is one that I would mix into other perfumes to make them more cherry-like and powdery. The next one is from Attar Collection and it is called Kaltat Night. And I like it a lot because it has cherry in there, but also smells very different to the other ones on this list right here because it reminds me a lot of Ambre Narguilé by Hermès or Wajan by Parfum de Mali. It has this cinnamon, fresh, fruitiness to it. It is sweet and oriental and it's definitely spicy and fruity. It has gourmand touches to it, but to me it has something a bit more deep and woody to it, which makes it more complex and more unisex than a lot of perfumes I'm going to show you today, which are more sweet. This has definitely sweetness in there. It's definitely sweet, but it's also very spicy and it has some red apple in here and I can definitely tell that there's this sour fruitiness going on. And then there is amber and patchouli in the base and they are quite strong in this perfume. Those two notes can be a little bit tricky for me, but in here they just give it some depth and make it last longer. This is almost a beast. It's definitely, I think, the strongest from all of the perfumes today. And what I like is the other ones I just told you about lack a little bit of this fruitiness. A lot of people say they smell like apple pie. I don't really get it on my skin. With this one, it's a little bit more fruity, as I said, and you do get this sour cherry cord. And then we have a beautiful perfume, which is called Duchessa by Gritti, one of the classics when it comes to cherry perfumes. It is so sweet and gourmand and spicy and definitely quite complex and elegant. I think it does smell like it looks. It's very date night appropriate. It has black cherry, it has marzipan, it has cocoa, brown sugar, almond, iris, cloves. So it is quite sweet and fruity and I think there is this saffron blossom in here which gives it this touch of Baccarat Rouge DNA going on in the background, but just in the background, just a tiny bit, so it gets a lot more sexy and seductive. But then you also have those beautiful sour fruit notes, like the cherry, there's bitter orange and orange zest in here. And the brown sugar makes it sweet, but more complex than maybe just a vanilla note would. This has a great performance. Sillage isn't as beast mode than the other ones I just talked about, but still it has a definite presence and the marzipan is very authentic smelling. You have to like almonds and marzipan to enjoy this perfume, but if you do, and I love the note of marzipan, or I love to eat marzipan actually, mm, it's heaven. Then we have one perfume that was hyped up so much, I think 
last year or the year before which is called Mandorle by Soradora and this is one of the perfumes that mixes cherry with leather so cherry perfumes are often mixed with almonds and they are in this specific family and then you have a lot of cherry perfumes with the note of leather mixed into it and the ones with almond definitely have this playful mm, very sweet thing going on and the ones with the leather are a lot more unisex and a lot more edgy and dark and seductive and this one definitely is. To me, on my skin, in the first couple of minutes, it's a cherry gourmand explosion. And then comes the very suede leather note and it comes in strong and it stays. And then on my skin, it is a leather perfume, but the most smooth leather you could think of with a strong rum note and something that reminds me of cherry but in the beginning it's very very loud and it gets more soft and quiet so if you want a cherry perfume that is a little bit more quiet and something more edgy try this one it definitely has some sweetness and it's quite creamy there's tonka bean in here caramel cocoa vanilla white mask so it's definitely smooth and creamy quite sweet but then you have some woods and the suede which make it very edgy as i said and definitely unisex almost leaning masculine the next one is a cheapie again and it is again by zara i think this was my first cherry fragrance that doesn't have the note of cherries listed but to me on my skin it's such a strong cherry note that I detect on my skin. This is called Rich Warm Addictive and this is from the men's section. They have it all the time. I think it was released 2016 and it has been at the Zara stores and online since then I think. This is quite an old batch. I think it still looks the same and this is so cozy and sweet and creamy and gourmand. It just says that there is bourbon vanilla rum and white peonies in here but on me it's quite fruity and cherry like. Not like the cherry perfumes that I just told you about but it's like a blanket that's just so cozy and warm and soft it's like a very soft cozy perfume with this boozy note going on there is some woodiness to me and then i have this almost sour fruit note which reminds me of cherries it is a little bit similar to love fest burning cherry by kayali but different at the same time but for the money that you pay, this is almost niche quality. But unfortunately, the performance is quite weak, but doesn't surprise me. The next one is again one that combines cherry with leather, but this time it isn't as prominent and it's a little bit more complex and you smell a lot more different notes. So this one is Cherry Punk by room 1015 and this is a super cool looking brand i love the name and it definitely has this aura about it i can really imagine like a cool woman in a leather jacket with a beautiful floral cherry perfume on and she's on her motorcycle that's what i imagine in my head and i think this perfume makes a lot of people feel more edgy and cool and i think it's such a beautiful take on cherry it is definitely fruity and leathery it is quite sweet and spicy but then it is on my skin very floral and it has this powdery smokiness going on so there is cherry in here 
and saffron. You can definitely smell the saffron in here and it is not the Baccarat Rouge saffron. Then there is jasmine, mimosa and violet and you can definitely tell that there are a lot of florals in here as well. And then you have this prominent leather note, patchouli and tonka bean. And it's very smooth and it is soft yet dominant at the same time. Leather forward perfumes are most of the time not my favorite, but if they are mixed in, like in here, I do like them a lot. It is not something I would wear every single day, but if I want to feel the specific mood, this is so beautiful. And like I said, most of the perfumes I just talked about are perfumes I would wear in the fall and winter time. But I have some cherry perfumes, which are for me strictly for spring and summertime, like this one. And this is L'Occitane Fleur de Cerisier, the cherry blossom perfume. This is the intense version and they only have it in this travel size. I don't know why the normal one is in a bigger size available, but the intense version they only have in the small size. But anyway, I adore this perfume. But to me, it is more a cherry blossom perfume. If you want to see a cherry blossom perfume, maybe next spring, please write it down in the comments and then I will make sure to have a cherry blossom list ready for you because I love the note of cherry blossoms and perfumes as well. But this one actually has the note of cherry in here as well. It is a floral, very fresh, sweet, happy, fun scent. I don't know what it is, but it reminds me of something from my childhood. It has this fun character to it. Definitely not as sexy and mature as some of the other ones are in here but for spring and summer time it is just perfect. This is my mood for spring and summer in a bottle. It has black currant in here, it's quite floral with freesia and lily of the valley and then the base is so deep and creamy with some musk, some amber. It is very very nice i've never smelled anything like it before and as i said i'm so so sad that they only have this intense version in this small bottle because you can see how much i've used and this i think is my third or fourth bottle yeah so if you love a fresh and fruity fun cherry perfume check this one out and since i talked about it of course i have to show you kayali's Love Fest Burning Cherry 48 and this one they said would be a very nice alternative to Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. To me it is definitely not an alternative because it doesn't smell like Lost Cherry to me. It's a cherry perfume yes but that's about it. But Tom Ford now has one, what is it called? Smoking cherry, cherry smoke, something like that, which does smell similar to this one. But this one I like a lot. The only thing I will tell you right now is the performance is not good at all on my skin. Longevity and sillage are quite weak. I can detect it maybe three hours, maybe four if I overspray a lot, but that's about it which is a pity. But the perfume itself is so interesting and complex and sexy, but easy to wear at the same time. It is sweet and fruity, but it has this smokiness about it. It is quite woody. It has black cherry and raspberry in the top, but in the heart it has praline and a lot of florals. So it has definitely this floral aspect to it, but just in the background to balance everything out. And then comes the base with tonka bean and guayac wood, palo santo, peru balsam and patchouli. And you can definitely detect the woods in here and the tonka bean. It's so nice. It has this freshness about it, but then you get this smokiness, the woodiness, and of course the cherry. It's so interesting such a beautiful perfume. I just wish the performance was stronger. And last but not least, I would just quickly talk about it because I don't think you can get it right now, but you never know with Zara. This is a woman cherry. <laughs> 
such a silly name by Zara as well. And this one is a fresh take on cherries as well. It is perfect for spring and summertime. As most of Zara's perfumes, it doesn't have a good longevity at all. You have to overspray a lot. This one I think is my second or third small bottle of it and I'm so sad I didn't buy the bigger bottle but anyway it does remind me of the L'Occitane one but this one is a little bit more fresh and a little bit powdery and um, more more elegant the other one is a little bit more playful so this has cherry in here and pear and oranges also cherry blossom and tiare and white peony and then it has praline and vanilla. The other one is a little bit more playful and fun and sweet. This one is a lot more fresh and fruity and definitely an easy grab. If you want a cherry perfume for spring and summertime, this is so, so nice. You just have to overspray a lot. So these were my cherry perfume picks. Let me know if you have other favorites you want me to try. Of course, there are so many more, but these are the ones I love at the moment. So I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.